Next question. Mr. X had made investment in a mutual fund rupees 10,000. On the date of investment, NAV per unit was rupees 10. After 5 months, Mr. X received dividend of rupees 200 and NAV per unit on that date found to be rupees 11. Question may pucha calculate annualized return to investor. Try to calculate answer of the question on your own and put your answer in the chat box. Read an answer. Return. In that income upon investment into 12 divided by n into 100. Question may say there occurred that say investor has received dividend of rupees 200 plus jab humne investment kiya tha tab nav tha 10 rupees abhi ka nav hai 11 rupees whole divided by 10000 into 100 into 12 divided by 5. <coughs> so, we understand that say 1000 rupee ka change in the unit value or 200 rupee ka dividend. So, kul mila ke 1200 rupee ka income ho gaya on investment of 10,000 into 100 into 12 divided by 5. So, 12 percent into 12 divided by 5 that comes to 28.8 percentage. This is a way we can make the computation of the annualized return. Friends, ye jo 12 percent ka return hai na, usko technical language mein bola jata hai holding period return. This is given a name as holding period return aur logic aisa hai ki 12 parsa ka return 5 mahine mein to agar aisa hi return pure 12 mahine rahega to annualized return kya hoga 12 parsa ka return 5 mahine mein theek hai na 5 mahine mein mereko 12 parsa ka return mila to agar aisa hi investment ka growth hoga to pure saal mein mereko kitna return milega so 12 into 12 that is 144 upon 5 that comes to 28.8 percentage and of course, this 28.8 percentage is annualized return. So, into 12 divided by n karte to wo kya ho jata hai? Annualized return mein convert ho jata hai. Otherwise, it is the holding period return jis mein hum log time period ko consider karte nahi hai. 